Are you planning your dream trip to Japan? Today I'll share with you five unnecessary things tourists often do when traveling to and in Japan. Hopefully these tips can make your trip more comfortable, enjoyable, and hopefully unforgettable. Overpacking Overpacking for your trip can be a significant mistake for tourists visiting Japan. Here are several reasons why. Limited luggage space. Japan is known for its efficient public transportation systems, such as local trains and buses. However, these systems often have very limited space for luggage, and trying to store or transport larger bags can be quite difficult. Even the long distance trains, such as the Shinkansen or Bullet Train, have limited storage space for larger items. Luggage under 160 centimeters linear dimensions can be brought on without a reservation. It can either be placed in front of you or if you can lift it in the overhead rack, provided it doesn't jut out in such a way that it could fall or be bumped. Luggage with overall dimensions between 161 and 250 centimeters is considered too big to safely store on the overhead luggage racks and also usually too big to squeeze in front of your knees. You'll need to reserve a space for these, usually along with special seating. Luggage over 251 centimeters is not allowed on the train. Please check with the train company themselves regarding irregular objects such as surfboards, bicycles, etc. Limited luggage space is also true for many hotels. In general, Hotel rooms in Japan are much smaller than other countries, and especially if you book cheaper hotels, might have almost no space in the room for larger luggage. You can usually leave your luggage with the front desk staff, though this is a bit inconvenient if you find out you need something while you're in your room. Japan is crowded. Overpacking can lead to unnecessary inconvenience as you try to navigate large luggage through crowded stations. This is especially true if your hotels are not close to the station you are going to. Lugging around large and heavy suitcases can be physically tiring and time consuming. It's better to pack smartly and efficiently. How can you reduce the amount of things to bring? Hotels in Japan have pretty much everything you need for your trip. Save room in your luggage by reducing the number of toiletries you bring on the trip. The vast, vast majority of hotels, from small business hotels to traditional ryokan, will provide you with most of your daily needs. They almost always have shampoo, conditioner and body soap as well as shaving items, hair dryers, combs, and other assorted toiletries. Also, Japanese drugstores are fully stocked with a plethora of high quality products if you find you've forgotten something. In my experience, the only exception is antiperspirant or deodorant. If you use it, make sure you bring it with you from your own country. I found Japanese versions to be really not comparable. Shopping Opportunities Japan is famous for its shopping, offering a wide range of unique and high quality products including electronics, fashion, traditional crafts and souvenirs. If you overpack, you'll have limited space to bring back your purchases. By packing light initially, you can leave room for any items you might want to buy during your trip without worrying about exceeding baggage limits or incurring additional shipping costs on the way home. Changing weather conditions. Japan experiences distinct seasons, each with its own weather patterns. Depending on the time of year and the regions you plan to visit, you may encounter a range of temperatures and weather conditions. If you overpack without considering the weather, you may find yourself burdened with unnecessary clothing items or lacking essential ones. So do your research regarding the weather prior to your trip. It's better to pack smartly, considering the forecasted weather for your trip, and layer clothing options that can be mixed and matched. So, 
what to do if you still find yourself overburdened with large or heavy luggage? Japan is a great luggage forwarding service between hotels that will make all your travel easier. The Takkyubin luggage forwarding services are available from airports, larger train stations, and almost all hotels in Japan. With this, you can ship your luggage to your next hotel in advance of your stay for a relatively cheap cost. You can do it yourself, or often the hotel staff are happy to help you with the paperwork. To make the most of your trip to Japan, it's advisable to pack light, bringing only the essentials and considering the practicality of your choices. Overscheduling. Overscheduling can be a significant mistake for tourists visiting Japan. Japan offers an overabundance of incredible sights and experiences, and it's easy to get carried away while planning your vacation. Here are several reasons why. Limited time for exploration. Japan is a country with a rich cultural heritage, diverse landscapes, and numerous attractions. It's natural to want to experience as much as possible during your trip. However, overscheduling your itinerary can leave you with little time to truly immerse yourself in each destination. Rushing from one place to another can be exhausting and may prevent you from fully appreciating the unique experiences each location has to offer. Unforeseen delays or disruptions. Despite its efficient transportation systems, Unexpected delays or disruptions can occur any time during travel. This can be due to factors like weather conditions, maintenance work, waiting time for major attractions, or even large crowds during peak travel seasons. If your schedule is packed with back-to-back -back activities, any delay can throw off your entire itinerary, leading to frustration and missed opportunities. It's highly advisable not to visit multiple attractions with specific booking times on the same day. This directly links to Limited flexibility Overly rigid schedules leave little room for spontaneous discoveries or adjusting plans based on personal preferences or recommendations from locals. Some of the best experiences in Japan can come from unexpected encounters unplanned detours, or simply wandering off the beaten path. By allowing flexibility in your schedule, you can open yourself up to these unexpected and often delightful experiences. Fatigue and Burnout Traveling can be physically and mentally demanding, especially if you're constantly on the move. This doesn't even include jet lag and length of initial flight to Japan, which should be factored in depending on where you're coming from. Overscheduling can lead to fatigue and burnout, affecting your overall enjoyment of the trip. It's important to allow time for rest and relaxation, and you'll truly enjoy your experience more. To make the most of your trip to Japan, it's advisable to strike a balance in your itinerary, allowing for a mix of planned activities and leisure time. Be realistic about what you can comfortably fit into each day. Prioritize the experiences that matter most to you and leave room for flexibility and spontaneous exploration. Remember, quality over quantity will lead to a more enriching and enjoyable travel experience. Relying on public Wi-Fi. Relying solely on public Wi-Fi can indeed be a major mistake for tourists in Japan due to the following reasons. Limited availability. While Japan has a reputation for advanced technology, free public Wi-Fi availability is relatively limited compared to some other countries. While major cities and tourist areas may have Wi-Fi hotspots, they may still be sparse in other regions, especially rural areas or smaller towns. Language barriers. Even if you do find public Wi-Fi spots, the login process and instructions may be available only in Japanese. This language barrier can make it challenging for non-Japanese speakers to connect to these networks, limiting your access to the internet. Inconvenience and time constraints. 
even when public Wi-Fi is available, connecting to different networks each time you need internet access can be time-consuming and inconvenient. It may require creating accounts, providing personal information, or going through complex authentication processes. As above, most will also likely be in Japanese. This can eat up valuable time and disrupt your travel plans. Mobile Data Options There are a couple of dependable solutions to this problem while traveling. Japan offers reliable and efficient mobile data services for visitors. Purchasing a local SIM card or renting a pocket Wi-Fi device allows you to have internet connectivity on the go, regardless of your location. If it's just you and your phone, a SIM card is probably the way to go. If you need to connect other or multiple devices, a pocket Wi-Fi device offers more options. Both are easily available at major airports, and pocket Wi-Fi devices can be reserved ahead of time and even delivered and available to pick up at the airport or your initial hotel. Staying within your comfort zone for food. Staying in your food comfort zone and avoiding trying new or unfamiliar foods in Japan can indeed be a mistake for tourists. Here's why. Culinary diversity. Japan is renowned for its diverse and unique culinary traditions. From sushi and ramen to tempura and yakitori, Japanese cuisine offers a wide variety of flavors, textures, and cooking styles. By sticking only to what you're familiar with, you miss out on the opportunity to explore and appreciate the rich diversity of Japanese food culture. Authentic Experiences Trying local and traditional foods is an integral part of experiencing a new culture. Food can provide insights into the history, traditions, and values of a place and its people. By venturing beyond your comfort zone, you can engage in authentic experiences that connect you more deeply with the local culture, fostering a greater understanding and appreciation of Japan. Japanese food in Japan is often different than at Japanese restaurants abroad, so make sure to try as much as you can. Unique Ingredients and Preparations Japanese cuisine showcases a variety of ingredients and preparations that may be unfamiliar to you. From sea urchin and octopus to fermented soybeans and various types of seaweed, Japan offers a whole new world of flavors and ingredients to discover. By stepping out of your comfort zone, you can expand your culinary horizons and discover new favorites. Local Recommendations Exploring different foods allows you to engage with locals and seek their recommendations. Japanese people take great pride in their local specialties and are often eager to share their favorite restaurants or food experiences. By being open to trying new things, you can tap into the knowledge of locals, uncover hidden gems, and, and discover lesser known culinary delights. Personal Growth and Broadened Horizons Stepping outside your comfort zone in any aspect of travel, including food, can be a catalyst for personal growth and expanded horizons. Trying new foods challenges your taste buds, broadens your culinary repertoire, and encourages you to be more adventurous and open-minded. It's an opportunity for personal discovery and can leave you with lasting memories and stories to share. Food Safety and Hygiene Standards Japan is known for its meticulous food safety and hygiene standards. Are you afraid to eat raw eggs? Have no worries about safety in Japan. Trying local foods from reputable establishments is generally safe and can offer a unique and enjoyable dining experience. It's a chance to trust the local food culture and embrace the cuisine with confidence. While it's understandable to have certain dietary preferences or restrictions, being open to trying new foods in Japan can enhance your travel experience and provide a deeper connection with the local culture. Embrace the opportunity to step out of your comfort zone, savor the culinary delights that Japan has to offer, and embark on a flavorful journey of exploration. So. Just to recap, five things you shouldn't do when you come to Japan are Overpack Bringing too much or too large luggage 
overpack, bringing too much stuff with you in your luggage, over schedule, leave some room in your schedule for fuller enjoyment and to nullify delays or disruptions. Rely on public Wi-Fi. Get a SIM card or pocket Wi-Fi will make your trip faster and easier. Stay within your comfort zone for food. Try new things. The food in Japan is great. So, there you have it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more interesting and fun things about Japan.